What's the similarities and differences between San Diego and Orange County, California? Find out next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up Jaycationers? Welcome back to a video in the Orange County series. That's right, we're here in Irvine, California, and today I'm gonna show you the similarities and differences between San Diego and Irvine. Right now we are here in South Coast Plaza, which is the first place we're gonna check out. I grew up going here because it was one of the bigger malls that had a lot of stores that weren't down in San Diego at the time, but now with improvements to UTC and Fashion Valley, San Diego has a ton of those stores now. With online shopping, you know, there's really no reason, but when I do wanna get a breath of fresh air, and get out of San Diego for a little bit. I like coming over here to Irvine and checking out the spot. We're gonna talk a little bit about the similarities of Irvine and San Diego. South Coast Plaza is right off of the 405 off of Bristol. Bristol is a road that you're gonna get to know here in Orange County. And if you guys wanna see more Orange County content in the future, comment down below. Let's talk about the similarities between Orange County and San Diego. Irvine is known for UCI, UC Irvine, which is a very difficult school to get into. I actually toured there in my teen years when I was looking to find a college. I ended up going to SDSU, of course. San Diego has UCSD, and both UC schools, both hard to get into. Super smart people get in there. Irvine is a great school, and there are a lot of other JCs around here as well. And what I really liked about coming here in my teen years, uh, into my 20s, was all the great eats around here. But San Diego is definitely upped its variety of cuisine through the years and if you can't find something in San Diego you, you'll definitely find it here in Orange County. We're definitely focusing more on Irvine today but we're so close to Disneyland and Anaheim. Don't call Orange County LA because it's not. It's halfway between San Diego and LA. If you were to ask me what city or county is closest to San Diego I would definitely say Orange County. We're still different though. We're now off of Bristol Street on the border of Santa Ana and Irvine and this is Hans Ice Cream and Deli. I've been going here for years with my cousins ever since I was a teenager getting some late night ice cream after a long day shopping at South Coast Plaza. This place has some great ma and pa ice cream. I usually get cookies and cream in here. It's kind of early still. I don't know if I can handle a scoop of ice cream, but believe me, they have a nice ice cream cookie sandwich in there. Literally across the street from the Maggiano's at South Coast Plaza. I'm telling you, it definitely hits the sweet spot. If you guys want to see more videos in Orange County in the future, comment down below. I'd like to hear some ideas. Consider subscribing. Have a ton of Southern California and Las Vegas content coming soon. Another spot that I like about South Coast Plaza is that their stores are huge and there's so much much property and space to roam around. There's different bridges that cross Bristol and cross other streets to go to different quadrants of the mall. There's even a newer quadrant of the mall where there's an H&M, there used to be a Macy's and a bunch of other stores across the way. But we're gonna be in the main area here because we're short on time. This Forever 21 is huge. What the heck, FUBU is making a comeback? And it's at Forever 21, what? So the men's section is a lot smaller than the women's. It's only about a probably one-fifth of the store, but they still have some good gear. Let's check it out. I actually have this jacket. I think I've worn it on vacation before. And definitely not the pants though. You check this out. Like these bandana hoodies are pretty cool. I like the light blue color, very springish. And if you guys are wondering where I get all my button down shirts similar to this, I get them here. They're only about $24.99. What the heck? This almost matches what I'm wearing right now. This is Levi's. This is Forever 21. Pretty much the same. Well, this has a hood, that doesn't. Now coming with the pastel colors. Uh, if this wasn't 34 bucks, I'd, I'd actually look into getting that. Or this pink flannel, that's pretty cool. Is it 34 bucks too? Oh, it's only 19. Ooh, I might get this one. This is the store that I came here for, Uniqlo. Let's see if we can pick up a few things because it's been a while since I've gone into here. Uniqlo has really comfortable shirts like this. Long sleeve, $19.90. Not bad. They also have a ton of Disney shirts here. Sometimes I like them. I kind of like this one. These full zip plushy fleeces are pretty comfortable. I don't have one yet. I might get one. Three for $12.90. I always get socks here, whether they're long socks or they're short socks. This would be a cool Mickey shirt to have for St. Paddy's Day. They even have some Van Gogh Starry Starry Night shirts. This is crazy. I didn't even scan these. They already knew what it was. Right here 
running out of time. I went shopping, picked up a bunch of things, but uh, I'm excited about that green Mickey shirt. I'm gonna wear that on St. Paddy's Day in Vegas. Although we have tons of boba spots in San Diego, there is no Seven Leaves Cafe. They do have this in Vegas, but the closest locations you can find is around the Orange County area. I think I'm gonna grab some boba right now, and right next to it is the place we're gonna have lunch. Literally like five stores down is the Halal guys. I placed a mobile order and got some for Momcation, Dadcation, and uh, we're gonna take it down to San Diego. Actually really happy I picked all this up. Didn't have to wait in that line. I'm getting a new GPS and stereo installed to the Silver Bullet and the only Best Buy that could install it within the week before I go to Las Vegas is here in Irvine. So I said, okay, let's go and uh, do a video here. This is the Seven Leaves. I got the uh, green tea. It's not matcha, it's actually a Thai green tea. It looked like there was taro in it too. You gotta mix it up. It's nice and sweet, just how I like it. It tastes more like a Thai iced tea than uh, Matcha. Seven Leaves is also in Vegas. They have it in Chinatown. So if you're in Vegas, check it out. I've had my old stereo for about 15 years. I finally got a gift card and I decided to use it. I, obviously there's a ton of Best Buys all over the US. So uh, for some reason, they were all booked out in San Diego. Just gave me an excuse to vlog up here in Orange County. We've made it over to Tustin Marketplace off of Jamboree Road. This is the area where you can do a ton of shopping. They have a lot of the chain stores here like World Market, Best Buy, Dick Sporting Goods. There's a Costco around this area, a Hobby Lobby. One thing that Irvine has that San Diego doesn't is an Amazon Fresh grocery store. I've covered this before in the past on Jaycation in the middle of the pandemic. And what I like about Amazon Fresh is their automated carts where you put in the grocery item and it automatically charges it to your Amazon account when you log onto your phone. So you don't even have to go through the checkout aisle. But what I also like there is their pizza. Their pizza is very comparable to Costco in a sense of the size, but it tastes different and the price is around the same thing. So I've been craving it and since we don't have Amazon Fresh in San Diego, I'm gonna go in here and grab myself some pizza for an early lunch. These are the Amazon dash carts I was talking about. You just have to activate it with your app using this touchpad and your phone. Looks like they have a deli here. And the sandwich is around $6.99, but you could also pick up lasagna and a bunch of side items, Caesar salad. Prices don't look too bad. It turns out that pizza doesn't get served until 11 o'clock. 11 to nine is when they serve it. And it's only $1.79 a slice, which is cheaper than the $1.99 over at Costco. You guys know I'm a hot sauce fiend. They have variety and an array of Hot sauce here, we got Crystal, Texas Pete's, Louisiana. Might have to get some of that. They do have an assortment of pizzas. They also have a white pie, a combo slice, like a supreme, cut the pepperoni, just to stay basic. And I was kind of in a hurry and the other pizzas were still in the oven, but they do have Frank's red hot sauce right here. You know, I'll put that hot sauce on that pizza. That is nice and fresh off the oven. The red sauce is amazing. It's a little thinner than a Costco slice. For $1.79, it's definitely worth it. You can't find anything for $1.79 in San Diego unless you go to Best Pizza and Brew on their last hour and they make all their slices $1.50. You have to wait till like eight or nine o'clock. Pepperoni slice though, on point. Mm -hmm. Their whole pizzas aren't that expensive either, under 10 bucks. You just gotta wait 10 to 20 minutes to get it done. Well worth the wait in my opinion. You guys wanna see a complete review of Amazon Fresh. I did a video on it during the pandemic. I'll link it down below. Check it out after this video is over with. Whoa, this place is a really great Mexican food restaurant, Taco Rosa. I used to go here as a kid and there's also a place called Taco Mesa. It was where I discovered the wet burrito. Yeah, I didn't discover it in San Diego. I actually discovered it here off of 17th Street after a long day on the beach in Newport. Irvine Spectrum Center is huge. There is a movie theater, a Dave and & Buster's, and a Ferris wheel. It's an awesome place. 
I would compare it if it were a hybrid of Fashion Valley in San Diego and UTC. UTC is definitely on its way, but UTC doesn't have a Target, but you know, it's cool. There's plenty of Targets in San Diego. Irvine Spectrum is a definite great Friday night hangout spot for people that go to UCI or just live around town here. So many beautiful neighborhoods in this area. They also have Fashion Island, South Coast Plaza, which you saw earlier. And if you go up to Anaheim, they have the block. It's not as cool as it used to be. I think it's the outlet center now. We do have a Kia Australia in UTC in San Diego, but this one's opening. It says spring 2022, so pretty soon. Irvine's gonna have themselves a Kia Australia. This is pretty cool. They have some Walt Disney World stuff here at Box Lunch. This place looks familiar. I, I think I have a Box Lunch Game of Thrones tote bag. In this area, they got a Dave and Buster's. And what I really like about this mall is the cool Arabian Moroccan type architecture. Check that out, Elden Ring. That, that's a new crazy video game that's out right now. I just started watching video game streamers and they love playing Elden Ring. I really love this corridor here. This leads all the way towards AMC theaters. That right there is the Lannister Fountain right there. Just like UTC in San Diego, there's a Javier's here. And just like Fashion Valley in San Diego, there's a Cheesecake Factory. Down the way is the Regal Cinema, and there's a Silver Lake Ramen, which Silver Lake is a town over near downtown LA, the hipster town of LA. Also hidden in the corner is a Somi Somi over here. My favorite soft serve and taiyaki spot. We're here at Urban Outfitters. Should I buy this shirt? 36 bucks. Well, should I buy this shirt? You'll know why soon enough. We're here at Caught In On. This Radio Gaga shirt from Queen is really dope. That's a pretty unique looking Apple store down the way. Also, Irvine is super expensive to live in, but it's definitely a very family friendly place to live. A lot of great parks here, a lot of great schools. Also, check out the Moroccan style Target. Looking for more cool ice cream spots? Check out After's Ice Cream. Really good spot here in Irvine. So similarities, Orange County, they've got the beach. They've got the shopping centers. They've got the awesome neighborhoods. They've got some really nice schools. San Diego, same thing. Now the difference, they're closer to LA and they're closer to San Diego. It's just not San Diego, so it's different, but it's also not LA. There's still traffic here. Just like San Diego, if you know the times to get in and out of areas, you can master side streets and all that good stuff and at least lessen your travel time. Even though Wahoo is originated in San Diego, I've come up here in the past and had lunch with my cousin Edgar over at an old Wahoo's, but it's still around here. And I think there's still a couple locations in San Diego that are still open, but I know a few have closed down. This is the reason why I came up here so I can get this new stereo speaker installed thanks to that gift card I won online from a website. This is basically a free stereo system. But I just sold the house. Play some of that Camila Cabello. Just went to Miniso and picked up an iPhone cable for my new speaker in my car so that I can enable all the GPS and stuff for it. Irvine, Orange County, awesome place, especially if you just want to get a change of scenery for the day from San Diego. It's only about an hour, hour 20 from San Diego. Pretty much similar, but it's definitely different. And you'll see when you come here, they do have a lot more shopping malls like Spectrum, South Coast Plaza, and I really enjoy that. If you guys want to see me do more videos here in the Irvine, Orange County area, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Let me know what you'd like to see. Would you like to see like a Newport Beach day video? Or you wanna see some food videos around Westminster? Asian food tour because Asian food here is really well known. Let me know in the comment section. I just made a day trip over here. I figured I'd do a little video and I figured why not do San Diego versus Orange County? Perfect for my video. People are, you know, very interested in that type of stuff. And unfortunately, this is where the so-called LA Chargers actually train, which is weird. They're not the LA Chargers that they train in Costa Mesa. Anyways, guys, that's a whole different story. Check out my Patreon, Teespring, and PayPal if you want to support me more in 2022. I have It's Always Sunny in San Diego on Facebook. 4,000 San Diego lovers give you tips, news, and tricks about San Diego. And we'll see y'all in the next one from Orange County, California. And in the words of me, stay traveling, JKationers. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out my Amazon Fresh video right here and my Disney for Adults video on this side. See you over there, Jaycationers.